Art has long been a study of sexuality, a way to explore and express, engage and enrage. A chance to challenge society when anything other than heterosexual love was seen as a scourge or indeed a crime. Now, 50 years after the decriminalisation of homosexuality in England and Wales, the queer British art show at the Tate is showcasing works from those at the vanguard of social and artistic change. They were just celebrations of the young male, and that was, for Victorians, that was a perfectly honourable thing to do. It was a kind of a, a just a youth in all its splendour and so on. The actor Simon Callow has been closely involved with the exhibition, which studies art from the Victorian era, when such work was accepted, through to darker days of torment for many. I think it's tremendously important. It'll give people a very, very strong idea of how present gay artists were and always have been in the art scene, but also how uh, on the one hand, celebratory and joyous a lot of their work is, but on the other hand, how repressed, how concealed, how self-denying so many of the artists had to be. If ever there was an embodiment of why concealment was necessary, it's surely this. The door from Oscar Wilde's cell in Reading Jail, where he was held for his sexuality. That tells you very clearly that uh, prison was waiting for almost any gay person who overstepped the mark. What's striking is that when we get to the Hockneys, it's a very different feel, there's a, a, more, a greater openness well, you really. you have to laugh, don't you? I mean, that's the great thing about it. And that's, that was the, the extraordinary new thing that David Hockney brought to all of this. It's, um, he, he might just as well have coined the phrase, some people are gay, get over it. And when you look at this exhibition and you see how far society has moved, do you think there is still a much greater journey ahead? I don't think there is a much greater journey ahead. No doubt there always will be pockets of resistance and uh, prejudice and so on. But generally, I think what's happened is that, which people have always felt, is that, uh, that gay artists bring a very particular something to the party. And uh, why not just enjoy it and celebrate it? It is a celebration that few could have imagined when many of these works were created. Emma Murphy, ITV News, Tate Britain.